Oh wait, was, they didn't call it cookies in the fancy English language, they call it biscuits. I don't want the fancy biscuits! Hello, bitches of Earth. I am finally back. I say that and then I disappear for another four months, so... You never know with me, I like to keep y'all on the edge of your seat. Anyway, today I am playing... Well, I'm gonna finish playing this Game of Thrones game. I know everybody hates Game of Thrones now and Game of Thrones is old news, but I still like Game of Thrones, so I'm gonna play this. I don't remember, oh, I'm still on episode one. I thought I was already on episode two, but I guess we'll do episode one. <clears throat> so my life has been a mess. I say that all the time, but it's been a this real mess. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Ah, uh, what am I looking for? Is this Margaret? Whatever her name is, Margaret sounds like a salad dressing. Hey, flash me to Margaret. Anyways, um, I guess you just look at this. Look at that. We're looking for his secret stash. Am I gonna get my head cut off snooping around like this? Even <clears throat> this for me. Who are you? <laughs> I don't even know who she is. I have to look at all this shit. Asha sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Yeah, East Side. <laughs> East Side is a dangerous place. <laughs> I don't remember all these people. <laughs> so dramatic. A letter. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna make that look too. Whenever I get a letter, <clears throat> I don't get a letter. People don't like me. <laughs> Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Play the mini violin. Do -do 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 -do. <clears throat> Sorry, the lighting's really bad. It's like four in the morning. I couldn't sleep, and I was laying there. Thinking, hey, you know what? I should get my life together. <laughs> and somehow that equals making a video. What am I looking for? Condoms? They didn't have condoms back then. What they use as birth control? I'm serious. Woo! They probably use like lemons. I think they use lemon. They took a lemon, a slice of lemon, and then the female was severed up there, hoping that the acid would like kill the sperm. And, uh, th 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 that means you would have a sour puss. <laughs> that is sex ed with Morak. The more you know. <laughs> okay, what am I doing now? The bowl of fruit. Can I have a banana? Oh, that's the lemons. <laughs> that's where they keep the lemons in plain sight. What was that? Right in plain sight. You can't walk towards me and be like, start talking to me, like freaking the fuck out. Dusty old tomb, tomb. Made by man. Whatever it's called. A gift from Modric. Why is she so sad? I hope to see them all someday. Is her family dead? Did I kill her family? I don't remember my bad decisions I made. Is this the window that they pushed Bran out of? Sunny at Ironrath today. Hi, how far apart are they? <clears throat> I think that's everything. That's everything, right? Can I walk faster? Oh, she can. <laughs> ah, ooh, doo, 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 doo. 
Let's jump out the window. There's nothing good in this world. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. <clears throat> I don't want your Girl Scout cookies. Oh wait, they didn't call it cookies in their fancy English language, they call it biscuits. I don't want the fancy biscuits! <laughs> that was my city. <laughs> um, is there an option to not open the door? Oh, it didn't even... Okay, just come on in then. Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. Yeah, wow. Well, you you see that look? She's like, you did. No, it's fine. Let him in for a good time. I got a bowl of lemons. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I told you I didn't want your fucking biscuits. <laughs> No. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Like all females do. It's nothing. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course. Yeah, what is he doing? You work for Lady Marjorie? He's just, he's putting poop in there. So like here, here's the hoist sit. Oh, you ordered. <laughs> it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I don't trust you. I don't trust nobody. I trust no man. Inside the royal set, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei. I know she's a bitch, huh? They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but. I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not What house am I in? But I thought I'm wearing a Tyrell outfit. Am I a Tyrell? Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about You're a spy. You're one of those spies, huh? You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. He got the secrets. He got the secrets to Area 51 and everything. <clears throat> Suspicious! <gasps> Margaret! Salad dressing. You're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. There's something I don't I trust you. I've seen the show. <laughs> Just imagine her being like, I've seen the show. <laughs> From the day you arrived in High Garden. I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. Ah, uh, you're, you're very kind. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not... Oh, her name's Mira? Me. We'll get through this together. You must understand... Oh, but this bit's jealous. Especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. You are? Did you already, north, whose family did you already decide the... It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? She Off with your head! <laughs> knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know. But she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I cannot apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I yeah. Know, but you must find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell I'm not doing anything you. Margaret says because she's very good at manipulating people. See mm -mm. if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us.
I don't trust you. I'm gonna try to piss off Cersei. I mean, but I bitch kiss my ass. <laughs> Kidding me. Good luck. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, am I supposed to be like on trial here? Like, what? Are, what? Are, why am I the bad guy? I've got dragons. I'm the dragon bits. You can do this. Can I just? Oh, wait. Can I can I just turn to my room? Marguerite, you walk so fast. I like her hairstyle. I'm gonna do my hair like ah, that. Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion, you look lovely every evening. <laughs> With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forest. Oh, I'm House Forester. Okay. All my family died. I think I killed them all. Uh, by your head. Honored, your grace. Hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. House Forester wow. is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Hell yeah! King of the North! He's not here, is he? She is. Yes, Your Grace. To the one true king. King of the North? The one true king. I'm gonna get myself killed. Yeah, she didn't say which. The girl is clever. I am, bitch. She only meant. I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the north. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. Uh... Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Is it any wonder you were so impertinent to ask which king deserves your loyalty, if you have any loyalty at all? Oh my God! So manipulative. Is your house willing to swear? I'll be like, bitch. What do you want from me? You want your brother? I go get your brother. <laughs> what did she say? Uh, yes, Your Grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with. <laughs> If it was me, I'd find it difficult to see. The castle is gonna fall on your ass, but it's why are you pregnant? I've seen the ending of this. I have the sight. <laughs> but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather... Unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. I don't know what I'm doing. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie. Oh my God! Did this bitch stop? On the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it. Yeah, same. <laughs> Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. 
Who knows what lurks within their hearts? Darkness. You're a girl from the north. <laughs> to Lady I don't know. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king that must be absolute, beyond question. Okay, but what I have to do to prove my loyalty? Conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve. What would you do then? I'm sure she Let would. Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of <laughs> Yep. Badass. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. It's just a bad time to sneeze. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, your grace. Oh, my, 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 <laughs> my, 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 don't like me. I'll walk you out. Can we fuck? <laughs> You're like the only good sense, guy. <laughs> but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannis Ball. Even then, he didn't trust Ruth Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took. I gotta. Let me redo this. So I'm gonna try to be manipulative back. Maybe like. So I see. Bow. You kneel, bit. Quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. No doubt, Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Eventually, my sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. I wouldn't want to anger Cersei. And you'd be wise not to. But... I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? No. I'm just gonna run away. It may be far too dangerous. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk. I'm just I gonna run away to the east side! Your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Oh, Sansa don't Three want you. Beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yeah, snakes. Wait, I thought the Dornish people are snakes. <laughs> I don't know. What? what yeah, I would not survive medieval times. I don't even know what, what what's going on. Difficult? You're telling me. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. <laughs> of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. Uh, he's too busy fucking his sister, so calm down. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome, <laughs> quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Let Martin me get my lemons. Who knows, we might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. 
Uh, sounds like a fucking nightmare, honestly. <laughs> he does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Yeah, me either. Be queen. Being queen is a lot of work. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I what do scepters do again? Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tar and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! <laughs> He's fucked up. And... What are you doing? I don't like you, bitch. I don't like any of y'all. Well, Sarah, I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mirror. I'm just glad it's over. Same. I don't want to look at her bitchy ass place. face. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Oh yeah. Do you agree? Ah, uh, yeah. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You I'm just trying to be the guy in the middle, like, yeah, I'll be your friend, I'll be your friend. I don't want to get my head cut off. Okay? I'm trying to survive. As difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Don't trust nobody. I I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. I don't trust it. Oh man, I made a mistake. About my family. I trust her. I prefer to speak with you alone. Yeah, I don't trust nobody. Mm -mm, I've already made a mistake telling Marguerite. So. Sorry, sir. Get out. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. Oh, she Ramsay's a bit. If a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you. And I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request. Especially now. I know, my lady. And I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only Oh, Mom, so needy. For the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. I will forever be in your debt. My family. Will forever be in your death. Hell yeah. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. Don't fear, Cersei. Don't let the Queen bully you. Hell you yeah. Have power over him, Lady Marjorie. <laughs> no one else does. Not even his mother. You're more manipulative than the Queen is. Will I think. I don't know. Didn't she almost win? Never ask this if your foot weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank, Thank you, my you. lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. I 
just got Marguerite cool. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm back to this guy. Oh, what a party! <laughs> Seven hells. Same. <laughs> Seven hells. Aw oh, man, they're twisting people. Goddamn Bolton. Shall we? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <laughs> like he's painting a house. <laughs> stop him. Can I be that idiot to stop him? Ooh. Not my best work. Ooh. Ooh. I suppose I <laughs> Father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. Oh, pick him out! Are you playing so slowly? <laughs> oh! He does now. Oh! How much further is it? These foresters. Day, my lord. Two at most. Oh man, the Bolton, they come. What did I do? I come back to this game and just everything is like a mess. What decision did I make? What bad decision did I make before this? Kill him. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Stay still. I'm just gonna stay still. I'm gonna die. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. <laughs> that was lucky. Fake. Fake. I don't remember his name. Is that my brother? Of, or something? Of the foresters? Where's my horse? <laughs> People have a lot of trust in these horses, but these horses aren't gonna fuck everything up. Do I want to look? I don't think I want to look. Uh. Bloody hell! I could do a better job than that. As I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of forester lords stand behind you. Oh, he's the little lord, and I think I fucked everything up with the other house already. Your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who sees back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. What would they call me? Call me. That is for you to define as the new lord. A boss half bit, bit, bit. Now they're yours. <laughs> they call me. My father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him. I'm gonna be Jesus. Call me Jesus. And say I walked on water. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Well, that was nice. Who are you? Nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. This bitch. 
Lord Ethan. Miss. Who is this man? Who are you? <laughs> this house is doomed. We all fucking know it. Quiet. Just stop it. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I'd no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Go. Lord Ethan, I'll give him mercy. I feel nice. They're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <coughs> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Ah, oh, give him mercy. Can I choose? Can I please choose? Take his fingers, please. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. Justice, my lord. Please, my lord, my family. Take three fingers? Nah. Our house tends to his people. See this man is paid, his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. I want to be alone. Shut the fuck up, you're a criminal. He is still a forester. He serves House Forester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. I made a bad decision, huh? We must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. You better be a good boy now. Just clap on the hand and go run along now, my child. <laughs> I made a mistake. <clears throat> See, this, I... <laughs> that was... I wouldn't, I wouldn't survive. But a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Uh, it was my duty. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. I could choose wisdom, you. Experience, and I'm I don't. Sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, God. I can't do that. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? <clears throat> Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Yeah. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Yeah, yeah. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Hell yeah. I, I'm gonna pick the other guy. I don't want the guy to like, kill, kill, kill ready to everybody. A small council, my lord. I don't want the guy that like wants to kill everybody, but I don't want the guy who wants to be mercy to everybody either. Oh, this is a hard decision. I don't know how to be lord, but being a lord is so hard. Look at food. I look at food. <laughs> A 
provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house. Well, then we need to stop the war. With problem the solved. Siege, my lord. If the modern so modern problem requires modern solution. <laughs> but there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. In the last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No. There must be something else we can do. I hope we find it soon. We can all be vegans. We can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. What is this? Horses! What's it doing? What's it doing? <laughs> Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should Why is that not an easy night. thing to do? I hope to be off tomorrow. First light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasha. Rasha? She has asked me to return with her, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here. I'll be <laughs> They're angry faces. She insisted. I will hold her, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. I'm my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. I'm a nice person. But my I'm gonna I'm gonna end up dead for being too nice. People are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a center now. If I may be so bold, so Roland is the man of John. It'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Roland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Uh, you're a woman. You go back to the kitchen, okay? What do you have to say? <laughs> Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. Who's Mira? Is that my sister? Or something? I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. Why is everyone so upset about so mercy? Man, man, what are the times? Times are changed. What? Ethan, please. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart and everyone trusts him. Man, this is conflicting. So Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. So he is hot headed. He's the one that's like, Clam! Clam is head. Alright. Whoa, he comes at the screen all creepy like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Can I turn the camera? Hey, little boy. House Forester. What a shield. I'm gonna talk to you. Like, Who should I name of my sentinel? That's it, and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I 
carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But Aww. you know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. He was. Roderick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someday I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Not fighting like that, you all, little bit. You will have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Everybody saw. The world doesn't get. The world gets yeah. around here fast. Our enemy, a bad man. Everyone keeps talking about them. Nah, he's not our enemy. He's just a thief. No, he just wanted enemy, some bread. But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Oh my god. His Someone mentality is so toxic. Robert. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roger. They are if you use it, right? I'm sure I have a real sword when I do. I'm gonna walk away now. You're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> Alright, what else? What else? Look at the gate. Wow, what a beautiful gate. Can I climb here and escape and run away to join the circus? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Where's the other guy? Him. Sword up. Swing left. Curry. Wrong. Wrong. Of course, my Many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this. Uh, I didn't say it was for you, but you know, Calm, hold your horses. <coughs> I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority. And made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you made good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet. But I appreciate your opinion. Oh, that look. No, 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 no. When will you take this? My lord. <sighs> Very good. Trust your judgment, man. This is a hard decision. Oh man, I don't know who to pick. This is hard. What do I do now? Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider. You face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White House. Mm. I only hope to give you an advantage. I understand. You're forgiven. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. I like him better. I don't know, who should I pick? Who the fuck are you? I like Duncan better, because I feel like the other guy is like, hot-headed. Make decisions out of emotions and reckless and yeah, Duncan. I think he like he thinks things through. You know, he's like mm hmm hmm hmm. Gotta play the chess pieces correctly. I'm gonna pick Duncan. Yes, Duncan okay. Donuts. Oh wait, <laughs> I'm hungry. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. Wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? 
It is our greatest asset, my lord. Yeah, you can make everything Why out of it. Some of our iron wood to house Bolton and have them leave us be. We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next. Yeah, but you don't know the Bolton. The Boltons would take it and still kill everyone. So you gotta. Can often be sated by gifts and gold. Whatever. I'm going over here. I'm gonna go cry in my room because I gotta make this hard decisions at 13. I don't know. How old am I? <laughs> this is cool, I guess. But what do I do? Where do I go? Alright, can I just make my decision now? I know who I want. I know who I want. And I'm not going to tell y'all until I make it. <laughs> oh, I can make a decision now. Okay, what's that? Will you move? Come on, you're so fucking slow, bro. We got a war going. to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm on it. But are you sure? Don't make me change my mind, dude. Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. Ortengrin? Ortengrin? <laughs> what? What is his name? Alright. Alright. Meeting. Small meeting. Everybody gather around. Duncan. My lord, are you now ready to name your Is sentinel? my partner in crime. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Do the meeting. Everybody get your asses in here or I'm gonna start cutting some fingers. <laughs> you may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Hey, no. Whoever's not chosen should feel no shame. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. I'm gonna give it to him after <laughs> I told him. <laughs> That's fucked up. What would happen if I did that? Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This, this is reckless. See, you're Your reckless. Has made his See, this is why I don't like him. He's very... I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. With no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. Don't panic. No panic! Ah! Plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. See? What did I tell you? You gamble with the lives of everyone. Just kill, kill, lives. kill. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Is that my mom? Mom, so help me out here. I'm just a 15 year old. Take up arms, my bowels haven't dropped yet. We need to take a cunning approach. 
Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we Maybe must I said have the other guy my sentinel. Are not successful. Maybe the other guy is too I nice. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Fine. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons Ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Uh, My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy. I'm just gonna kiss his ass. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. I, I'm making bad decisions. <laughs> I just killed this whole family. And you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much <coughs> force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Make him wait at I the will gate. meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served Did I make a mistake? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a female. I don't do battlegrounds. <laughs> Forgive me, my lord. But you are not ready to be lord of this house. Ah! Uh, cut off his head. Sit down. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. We will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. I made a mistake. Let's put him in the hall. Offer our eye. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. You read my mind. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just look at him and be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother? This is stressful. Malcolm told me. You want I think to living in 2019 is stressful. This is stressful. He has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts. And we need to ask you again. <laughs> you have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. 
Who are you? <laughs> Who the fuck are you now? I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Ah, uh, aye, aye. We'll just whatever. I just have people walk all over me, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Alright, what do I do now? So much to do. Examine. Examine shit. You know, kill herself with that. <laughs> take it, take it. Why, am I locked in this room or something? I'm so confused about the key. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. Thanks, uh. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. We've known each other for years, and yet to be treated like that. I'm sorry, Sarah. You shouldn't take it personally. Well, I did. I thought there was trust between us. Well, I didn't know how long we were friends. friends. They, didn't, they didn't really say that. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me, and she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... The less people that know, the better. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? She doesn't like me anymore. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed, and he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear, for now, but it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, <laughs> it was my mother's plan, not mine. Oh yeah, put it on your mom. Some way to forgive me. It's okay. Not my fault. My stupid mom. My mom. My mom fucked this all up. Simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Fuck you, Margaret. I thought we were like this, but now we're like this. <laughs> my lady. What do you want, cowboy? Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you I don't trust them. You need allies. Hopefully, I've proven I could be useful to you. 
I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Who do I trust? This is such a hard world, man. Man, you can't trust nobody. Who the fuck are you? Who are you looking at, bitch? Why is your face purple? <laughs> Where's the Royland? Up your ass. More than honor. And without King's Land. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Don't let me down, Duncan Donut. But the gods haven't favored us, have they? My lord, remember our words. Iron from ice. From that which seems hopeless, comes strength. Bolton men approaching, my lord. Shoot an arrow on his head. Are you good with archery, Duncan? <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Oh, this is gonna irritate me. I'm gonna be like Ramsey. And, uh, yep. Fuck this guy. Something wrong with your gate? Oh, I didn't know they weren't gonna open the gate. Wow, that does look kind of bad. <laughs> I made a stupid ass decision. You, the little lord. No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. We don't let the wolf in. Oh. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? You're welcome inside, but your men are not. Did you hear that, man? The Lord of the House says, Fuck off. I think he's afraid of you. Wait here. Now. I'm not afraid of you. I'm afraid of you, though. <laughs> A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved Only the best. Craftsman. Iron doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. <laughs> but not this, apparently. True. Given enough time, you can do a lot of things. Were you like, just stop walking and just let us talk, whatever we were supposed to talk about? Like the army you have, Lord Forrest. Very impressive. Jon Snow! <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> Alright, come into my little office. We'll have a chat. This is dumb. I fucked everything up. Replay. <laughs> Alright. Off with his head. I got him cornered. He has just men. Outside of my gate. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Oh my god, don't be a little bit. I'm gonna cut my brother's fingers off. Almost focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. 
Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolt. Warden. Ah, uh, that's not Birds the deal. Now win. Anyone can say they're Lord. I want you to show me. I asked you to kneel, yet you just stand there, gaping at me like a child. Sentinel! Sentinel! Just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your world. The crown, however, wants what you got. Whatever you've been supplying the stars for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little boy. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a Forrester Squire who did it. Oh, I remember now. Soldier dead. One vault. Yet your man lived. No, you're mistaken. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. How it happened is irrelevant. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insult. Oh man, I made a mistake. Well, gee, I don't. I gotta think. I gotta think. Hmm. Sentinel. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? Uh, Why? no. But no. That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no... Quarter. <laughs> lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan... They'll help maintain the king's peace and make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. All right, where's the other dude? The man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Oh my god, what do I do? Please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh. Like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen. <laughs> not yet, huh? <laughs> or have we? <laughs> I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my <gasps> highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. <laughs> uh, I know the I things you do to women. I ain't gonna let you take her bits. Aren't you the bold lord? No! <laughs> 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 what have you done? No! Well, damn, I didn't last long. <laughs> No, 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 no. I knew you were. 
Ah, uh, we play. I certainly feel better about all this. He's what have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the bullets or no! I make all oh I make so many bad decisions. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the base so quickly. Yeah, you're wrong, bitch. Mama! Stop! Don't let it go! Stop the help! Ryan, please! Stop it! Remember Ryan! Do something! Ryan, what are you doing? Oh, my son. Shit. <laughs> oh man, I fucked up. I knew not to trust Ramsey. Ethan you can't, you can't work with him. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This Aww. house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. I fucked My stuff. sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all Ooh. other abilities. Judge no! Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again. Our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Thirty-four percent left Bowen behind. Sixty-two percent for loyalty to the king. Wow, we're a bunch of pussies. Forty-eight percent food Eric. Sixty-nine percent pick Duncan as. Sentinel. Damn, that's where the mistake was made. <laughs> I should have picked the other dude and then we should have started a war and maybe I would have survived. But no. About 50, almost 50% met Ramsey at the gate. Wow, 50-50 there. I feel like, I had a feeling he was probably going to end up dead no matter what. Right? He was going to end up dead no matter what. Because then, how else would the story like continue, you know? I think. Mm, like, it was, I don't know. It seems like he would have ended up dead. But that was a shocker. Damn, this game is as shocking as the show. Well, I hope you guys like it. Uh, now that that happened, I'm actually interested to see what happens next. So I will do the next episode soon. If anybody cares about Game of Thrones anymore, I know everybody seems to hate it now, but I liked it. I liked the ending of Game of Thrones. I thought it was cool. But, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!